Good morning, guys. Today is, I'm even count of the days. Today is the second full day in Durban. We are still in Durban, South Africa, and this country is going to turn me into a morning person. I don't even know what it is. It's like I went to sleep. I, I mean, I guess it was like 11 or something last night. We had some drinks. We had drinks. So, and I, the alcohol that is from here, I forgot the name of it. I think I put it in one of the other vlogs. Um, if I can get the bottle, I'll find it. But it's um, their liquor. It was brandy. And it was smooth. It was good. And but it was strong. Like, I don't even know what the alcohol proof was, but I was a little, little turned, like, tore up, like a little drunk last night. So, like I said, we had a little drink for my birthday, a little toast, and um, went to bed. But normally, like, I would, my body normally wakes up, like wants to wake up at like around 10 or 11 a.m in the states but here like i wake up at the butt crack of dawn like 5 a.m i'm up like i'm up like i don't know if it's because of the circadian rhythm is different because of the the altitude or um because of the sun and how it shines i don't know but the blinds were closed and i still woke up i woke up this morning at five and in good spirits not hungover or anything like that um so today is my my oldest son's birthday. Happy birthday, Josiah. Your mama loves you. I wish you were here in South Africa with me. So when you see this vlog, you'll know. Happy birthday. Mama loves you. Anyway, I reached out to him. Um, it was actually still my birthday back there. So, because we're seven hours in the future here. So now, um, what's on the agenda for today? I'm going to, um, we're going to get dressed, get ready. Um, let's see, um, I want to, oh, I lost my card reader because I was going to uh, edit a video today, but I lost my card reader, so that's on the agenda, I have to go buy a card reader, and I'm thinking I'm going to get a phone here, because the Olafly eSIM, it works, but it's like spotty, so... Um, yesterday when I was getting my, finishing getting my nails done, I could not get a signal to get the Uber back to the, um, Airbnb. So that was a little nerve wracking, but one of the lovely ladies at the salon got us an Uber that we paid cash. Um, so that was pretty nice. And, um, and I felt trusting and safe, you know, for her to do that. They were, uh, I didn't think anything sketchy, um, but I know safety is the, of the utmost importance, and that's why I want to have a phone with a signal. Even if I'm not going to call the states with it, I can, you know, utilize it to call here, and I can utilize it for um, also getting discounts in the grocery store because the um, the store cards they always ask you if you have a store card, but it gives you like good discounts and. Um, you can't have it, you can't get one without a number. And there are also issues with delivery and delivering foods. Um, they need to be able to call. So um, that's been an issue a couple times since I've been here. So I think I'm gonna get, try to get like a cheap little phone um, that like a, a, you know, a touchscreen phone, not a flip phone, but a touchscreen phone that'll have apps on it. So uh, we'll be able to do everything we need to do while we're here. And yeah, so I'm, that's on the agenda. And like I said, I lost my card reader. I think I left it at the last Airbnb. So I have to get a card reader so I can upload more videos for you guys so you can see what's going on while I'm here. Um, and what else we're gonna do? Um, I wanna do that, but uh, bu another like bus tour like we did in uh, Johannesburg. So I wanna do that, the Yushaka Marine, um resort marine um uh, it's like a aquarium kind of like amusement park kind of thing it's temporarily closed that was one of the things i wanted to do here but that's temporarily closed i don't know why but so that's off the list so we're definitely going to some malls and you know how i like to browse everything that's my thing so we're going to definitely go to some malls i want to go to a market something like that but everything closes early here so we got to get our day started and maybe that's why 
God wakes you up so early so you can get your day started. I don't know. So let me get ready and get dressed and I will pick you guys back up when we are getting ready to head out the door. All right. So guys, I decided to move bathrooms because, you know, I got 10 bathrooms. I can shit all day. Shut up! But anyway, because there's a lot of bathrooms in here. And this, I don't like the way the shower um, sprays. So I'm moving bathrooms and I'm moving all my stuff. And Tweety is upset because I got so much She stuff. has like 50 products <laughs> that we switching. I don't know why somebody needs this much stuff to wash that. <laughs> Excuse my language. But this, this Please, can you come, come get the camera and show them all this stuff? We go from one bathroom to another, please. Hold on, y'all got to see. Where are we at? Hold on, y'all. It's really not that much. I mean, I'm telling them because it's not that much stuff. It's just like travel sizes and I have to have Okay, I have to have different sprays if I'm feeling a certain kind of way. Body mist. That's my oils that I put on. Oh, this make this makeup spray don't belong in here. But my deodorant and my oil facial cleanser, makeup remover. This is my skincare, my floss, my face wash, my hair, a little bit of gel and the edge stuff, and my mouthwash toothbrush. Then this stuff stays on the back of the toilet because if you poop, you want it to smell nice. And then I need. I mean, I need variety of the body washes, and then I use oil cleanser, body wash, and then you got your coochie wash, and it, I mean, and then your after uh, shower moisturizer, the in shower moisturizer. So you gotta have like all this stuff, and I need a different variety of different smells. So that's not that much. It's not that much. Like y'all, y'all women know it's not that much. Cause some have way more than me. Mm. I don't know what she's talking about, y'all. Now you got this fan on. No, I thought it was at the light right there. I'm shy. And I'm floss. Like, I mean, you need hygiene stuff. That's good hygiene. Right. What is she talking about? Just because I don't use a three in one product. Three in one. Okay, guys, let me, um, still getting ready. Did y'all see my earrings yesterday? little Africa. I um got those from Shein. But I'm just about to do my little bit of what I'm gonna do for my face and which is not much brows. Cause it's better it's better lighting in here. So how are you guys? I hope you guys been well. What's that? Oh doing the wind. Mm -hmm. I need to take some um some makeup classes. Cause I've been wanting to do a full beat or whatever they call it. I mean I don't wear a lot of makeup. I don't feel like I need too much right now. Um But one day I might, so I want to know what the heck I'm doing. My main issue is I don't like the the pores and the texture. I have like little fine texture here and like up here. I don't like it. And then I get like little small breakouts every now and then, but not too, too bad. I feel like I was blessed with pretty good skin. My mom had amazing skin. She didn't even grow hair on her legs. She didn't never have to shave on her arms yet, but no hair on her legs. But, um, I have hair on my legs, but not a whole, whole lot, but I wish I didn't have no hair like her. And her face never was broken out. And all she used on her face, she wiped her face with alcohol, rubbing alcohol, and she put Vaseline on her face. And she never wore makeup. So that's why I don't know how to do no makeup. Hmm. What do I do with the top to that? Uh, I don't even think I'm gonna do any tinted moisturizer. Uh, maybe. Or maybe just a concealer. I'll probably do 
the Charlotte, Charlotte Tilbury's um, Flawless Filter. I'll use some of that and some, um, excuse me. Some, some chapstick on. It's just cocoa butter chapstick. Flawless Filter and my concealer here. And I got in this tart shape tape. I try I wanted to try this and I got a lighter. I don't know if you could tell this one is lighter, one is a little bit darker. I probably should get like one more shade so I can have um yeah. It's the radiant tart shape tape radiant concealer. I have this darkness around my mouth. I don't like that. And where I have all this hair that grows, but it's waxed off now. I bought a wax kit and waxed myself. It wasn't that bad except for like the lip. Oh Lord. I let Tweety do that because I couldn't bear to, um, I couldn't bear to do it myself because it was so painful. I'll be right back. I gotta get my spray. So I like to spray like my Fix Plus on my my beauty blender. Sometimes I wet it. I still be. I still feel like I need that tinted moisturizer. Maybe just a little dot of it. The um, just the YSL bare look skin tint. I don't want to be hot because it's hot outside. Yesterday I didn't wear any. Well, did I? No. I just had some. always be talking about my red cheeks my cheeks are my cheeks naturally get red um it's always been like that all my life and then like if i get embarrassed it'll get redder if i get too hot if i'm not feeling good if i'm tired it'll be redder so and i'm always talking about not liking my redness and trying to hide the redness and then i go and get some blush <laughs> uh when i got natural blush but i think i'm gonna put because whenever i put the stuff on my face it just makes it look so um i don't know like pale or something what's the call what's the word for it? i don't know but i got this juvia's place um blush and this is the elf one it's so this is so pigmented guys you gotta be very careful the tiniest little bit you gotta put on there i don't even know which brush i'm supposed to be using but i'll be using this brush i think this one Tiny dots. I don't even y'all probably can't even see the dots. That's all. Cause it's it's pigmented.
It's my favorite highlighter, the Fenty um, Trophy Wife. I just think it's so pretty. I think I'm gonna put a little bit under my under eye and that's gonna be it. I ain't putting no bronzer, I guess I can. Maybe I'll put just a tiny bit. Did I even bring the bronzer? I ain't even bring the bronzer. Mm -hmm. Nope. Oh well, no bronzer. putting gold um where i got that gold from um it was rochelle rochelle yeah, rochelle chanel um i watch her i like her vlogs she's another um youtuber that's like in the 40 plus or whatever so um she puts like the liquid like the highlighter drops illuminating drops on her waterline and it looks so pretty so i started i tried it with this and i liked it um so I like to put this now. Um, I like to put blue and green under uh, on my waterline and white. Ooh. Okay. And then I'm gonna go with Oh, this is my um, eye cream, Estee Lauder Advanced Night Eye Cream. That's supposed to be in the bathroom. Let me put that in the bathroom. And then I have the Fenty, um, this is Who Needs Clothes um, Body Glossing Stuff. A little bit. Gives a little like sun kissed shimmer on the shoulders. A little glitter re situation. from she in um and i put this it's like backless i thought it was cute and i put this little little what do they call bralette or halter top bando top put a little bando top on and i have on these little crochet um little slides that i got from rainbow 
And I have a little crochet hat that I might wear. I might not. I don't know. But yeah, guys, this is it. This is a look. Thank you for having a little makeup chitty chat time with me. Um, all right, so we about to hit these Durban streets. I'm taking you guys along with me. to move here we can still go on cruises like we like to in the states so guys we are at oceans mall this is in durban super nice super nice That's a good one if you want it. If you're in Durban and also in um, Johannesburg, they have Ace Car Rental, but we're not renting no car. We're just going to Uber while we're here. Cause your girl don't like to drive anyway. Uh, Tweety definitely ain't going to drive. Not here anyway, so that's what we're doing. So we're going to go in this mall and yeah, so enjoy the sights of this mall. This is Ocean's Mall in Durban, South Africa.
got as a foreigner back then. I paid like three times the price of something that should have been 300 Rand. I just ended up paying three, 3,000 Rand, but it was for some phone, um, for the SIM card. And then I, you know, I had to get my, um, my um, card reader because I left my card reader at the other Airbnb. So I had to get a card reader. So I got a card reader and um, a, a SIM card so we can have service now and um, two phone cases which ended up being 157 US dollars which they got me because I just went and checked at the phone store and it was, should have been 300 Rand which is not um, which is about 15 16 17 dollars something like that so I got got hmm. What? Oh, mine is on there. Oh. Look at that Gucci. That Gucci. Mine is. Jimmy Choo. Burberry. Jimmy Choo. Versace. Y'all see, Africa is not what they try to make it. It's super nice. They got all the stuff that we got in America. They got it here.
so we're gonna grab something to eat from Rocco Mamas. I know y'all probably heard that conversation. And because uh, I'm gonna do the bus tour while I'm here, and we got one more day in Durban. So um, we're gonna go eat at Rocco Mamas. We're gonna try that. Um, yeah, so yeah, you guys got to see the ocean small, super nice out here, very pretty. Um, just make sure you keep your currency converter and see. I didn't have no SIM card, so I couldn't pull my stuff up without no data. So yeah, and after the fact, that's how I can see, you know, you got me. Know your conversions, know your um, rates of currency before you come so you can know if people are cheating you or not. I mean, of course, we're going to get taxed because we're Americans, but, um, but not that much of a tax. I almost didn't, um, I almost forgot to show you guys. This food started smashing. The chicken is so good. Um, we done smashed most of the chicken with some lemon pepper wings, and they got ranch. This is the first place I found with ranch so far. But yeah, look at what we got. Her smash. Look at the burger. And the fries and burger. And two large Coke Zeros. Alright y'all, we about to smash this food and I'll pick you guys back up in a minute. Guys, it was good. It was really, really good. Um, everything was good. The wings, the burger, the fries were seasoned good. The meat in the burger was like so light and airy. It was all beef. And then it's a halal restaurant, so they don't sell pork bacon. They sell bacon. Bacon is beef bacon, and it was really good. I've never had beef bacon. I didn't even know they made beef bacon, but I want to buy beef bacon now. I like it. It's really good. Um, Look at oh, and they don't rush you. They don't rush you in the restaurant. They don't rush to bring you the check or nothing. We've been sitting here for like 20 minutes. And then in America, you know they've been with it, brought the check. But we just sitting here talking and relaxing and eating. And they don't rush you to bring the check. That's crazy. You know Love the food. Love the service. <laughs> Can't hear you. Love the food. Love the service. <laughs> Okay, we smashed. Oh, and it's called the bill, not the check. I just asked for the check, and she said she didn't know, but it's called the bill. So when you're ready to, to pay, you say, can you bring the bill? Look at that um, Bentley. They get to pull up there and. Uh, park because they got money I suppose. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah y'all know drive the they drive on the opposite well the steering wheels on the opposite side and not the um you know how we got it but oh, that's really cool. so let them out. Mm -hmm. oh it's for it says Reserve supercar park. So he got a supercar. Baby. Let me hold some of that money. <laughs> That's some luxury living. I bet they have a fabulous house. Cause everything is already fabulous here. Imagine how super fabulous. It's crazy. This is Florida Road in Durban.
She said I'm supposed to say no thank you and keep walking. <laughs> I can't help myself. People suck me in. So it's my giving heart, my sensitive, giving, empathetic heart that makes me want to. Yeah, I want to see what's down here and then we come back. All right, this is the casino, guys. This is the Suncoast Casino that's in Durban.
Yeah, look at them views. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Y'all see them views in the back back right there? It's just views everywhere we go. I just love it. It's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Back this way. So that was the Sun Coast Casino, guys, here in Durban. I think they have one more casino. Um, I'm not sure. But we are going to go and get some groceries a little bit of stuff and then we'll figure out what we're gonna eat for dinner because I didn't go to my get to do a birthday dinner yesterday so I want to at least go out to one nice restaurant but what we had today was good for lunch but um I want to go somewhere nice I gotta figure out um, where we're gonna go in because everything closes so early here but um so yeah so you guys got to see the casino or one of the casinos that's here and um yeah so stay tuned for what we get into next here in Durban. to Checkers that was in the Windmere Center, I believe that's the name of it. Um, and it was jam packed because everything is about to close and I know you guys saw that. Um, and um, also you guys be vigilant um, and with your phones because it's, um, they have pickpocketers here that like to snatch phones and they saw that Tweety had her old case in her back pocket and some guys, like three guys, came up and was trying to, like, they were, like, following us around in the store. And then um, when we got in the line, they got in the line right behind us. They didn't have anything to purchase, to pay for. And I just felt like they were trying to do something. Don't want to assume, but that's what I felt. And so, you know, you go with your gut instinct. So I kind of told Tweety to kind of watch, you know, and we, we kind of was like standing away where we could see what they were doing. And then um, when they saw, I, Tweety pulled the case. It was her, her case was empty because we just bought new cases from the mall earlier today. So it was empty case, but they thought it was her phone in her back pocket. Cause um, yeah, I overheard them say something about a phone, but 
Uh, <clears throat> so um, she just moved the case, put it in the in the front, and then then they just while in the line they ended up picking up like something really small, like random things, and each one of them paid for the random thing. It just was suspect. And then when we were leaving, then they started following us, trying to see where we were going in the parking lot. But we stayed inside um, of the mall, or the shopping center, until um, they left. And then we had to call a Uber to come and get us and uh, and then go outside. But yeah, just stay vigilant. Um, you know, it's bad apples everywhere. But, uh, but from my research, that's the worst that goes on here in South Africa is the pickpocketers or phone snatchers or whatever they're called. But anyway, I got me some birthday cake. I should have got it yesterday, but um, I got me, so I found a cake place in that shopping plaza. So I got me some cake and I'm going to show you what it looks like. And I'll let you know how it tastes whenever we do um, taste it. Tweety got her some chocolate, of course. And then I got me two different kinds, but here they go. So I got, this is some carrot cake. This is like a rainbow cake. And then Tweety got this chocolate cake and some chocolate, chocolate pie thing, but it kind of slid apart in the bag when we were, um, we were coming back home carrying the bags. Oh, she also got this, um, I saw on TikTok, um, they have this awesome barbershop that's here. Um, it's called Legends Barbershop. So we went there. It's on Florida Road. I did get a few clips on Florida Road, but we were walking the streets and I just didn't want to have my camera or my phone out like that. So I got some clips, um, some clips when we were in the Uber, but not too much. Um, but she got this stuff for her waves, her hair. Um, but it's Legends Barbershop. Look on TikTok. It's an awesome looking barbershop. So it's called Legends Barbershop in South Africa. Um, but we were in the location that's in Durban. So um, now we are just waiting on the Uber Eats to come. I got some little, um, I ordered some liquor, some more like liquor and a mixer, a juice mixer, uh, that same liquor. It's called Kilp Drift, and the guy at the liquor store said it's a South African liquor, but it was really smooth and it was really good last night, and I didn't wake up with no hangover, even though I was like twisted last night um, from off of one little little bit. Um, so they have like pre-mixed Kilp Drift with cola, so I got two cans of that to see what it tastes like, and then um, there was something called Red Square Ice, so I'm thinking it's like uh, Smirnoff Ice, maybe but i got a six pack of those the purple one and then another small bottle of the kilt drift to take in our carry um our check bag so when we go back to johannesburg we'll have something and if we want to have a drink an adult beverage um but yeah today was a good day um i enjoyed the oceans mall and all of its sights and sounds and um what else did we do? Florida Road, I wanted to see that. I got to see what that was like. And um, we went to the casino, got to see that. So I get to check, check, check off my list of the things that I wanted to see whenever I was here in Durban. Now tomorrow, we're gonna do the tour, the bus tour, just like we did in Johannesburg. So stay tuned for that, guys. Um, please make sure that you put your post notification on so that you're notified the next time I post a video so you won't miss all the sights and sounds of beautiful sunny South Africa and all of the stuff that we are doing and enjoying and getting into but thanks so much for watching and joining us today and um, please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and I will catch you on the next one bye hey guys I'm back I just wanted to show you um, what we got for dinner um, Uber Eats Hold on. Um, one is a gar one cheesy garlic sauce. Okay, so we got chips and onion rings, and this, look at this. Oh my gosh, some food from some dry food, some grilled pork chop ribs and chicken wings. We both got the same. We both got the same thing, and we are about to smash. 
y'all once again we smashed the food it was good 10 out of 10 that was malibu spur um malibu spur i think it was called and yeah it was good it was really good it was bry food bry is um like grilled food so yeah 10 out of 10. okay bye can i say bye bye Let me sway.